Okay, so you would have seen the uh, possibly my previous video, and that was to do with the extension extension um, drawbar of the actual trailer itself. <coughs> uh, just another few quick tips um, for the trailer cable if you've got an actual mountable trailer board which I'll talk a little bit about, more about in a moment quick easy way to make it so that it can have the cord out of the way of everything the um, wiring cord is just use these uh, simple clips here so as you can see carabiner or carabiner clips however you want to say it put a few of them in a few uh, few different locations um, this one just up in behind here as well and that helps keep the cord out of the way the wiring loom for the trailer lights out of the way of any moving parts <coughs> um, with the trailer trailer board here that's the light board obviously you can see it's on the side of the trailer at the moment <coughs> um, got a simple bracket here screwed into the back uh, with a rod welded down that particular rod goes inside these bits here that I've welded onto the uh, the back guide poles of the trailer <coughs> so what happens there is you lift it out of these side retainers um, you can see there that is literally just a deadbolt door latch that I've got that one sliding into it's hard to do with one hand um, and then under here that's just like a um, a loop bracket that's bolted in so that that, uh, that rod itself can slide down in so normally lift that up slot one end into here the other end into here and then all of a sudden you've got your trailer board across the back <coughs> which will be right up out of the way it's not going to get any water on it um, because this is a jet ski trailer um, when you move it around to the side here and just slot it in on the side it allows you to launch your jet ski or boat or whatever it might be and none of these lights will get in the water these are an old style light they're not the LED um, um, immersible ones uh, so another trick that I've uh, just come up with <coughs> I want to make a um, canoe rack on this particular kayak canoe rack on this trailer so you might be able to see here this is actually a part of a rectangle trampoline frame and then simply I haven't done it yet but I'll just temporarily take that out this is a fence post with a bracket welded to the bottom that bracket is just going to bolt into the trailer there's one over the other side <coughs> and if I can just <coughs> there we go so I'll bolt that all up soon <coughs> and then I've got a, uh, a simple bolt bracket here and one over the other side there so I can run a uh, tubular cross beam across <coughs> and then I can make a uh, temporary one across the back as well and the beauty of this um, this particular setup is everything can actually be just lifted off and removable and then it can just be the uh, poles left here um, <coughs> I'm not going to make it um, particularly removable because as you can see even with this 
bar that I'm going to put across here, you can still be sitting on the jet ski and drive up onto the trailer when the trailer is in the water and your head's not going to hit anything up here. Um, the beauty of having this sort of setup and as simple it is um, lightweight trampoline frame is that uh, whenever the jet ski is not in use and it's not uh, in a uh, carport covered up area um, you can literally tie a tarp over the top of this and then down to the trailer or you can put a rooftop tent, set it all up and have a rooftop tent on there and you can have it as a uh, camping trailer um, that you can go away and have fun out camping and using the jet ski so um, hopefully that's given you a few ideas of how to make some simple uh, trailer modifications that will make everything here a lot more usable. So all of a sudden you have a trailer frame that can be used for overhead storage once obviously once I've got the uh, the bars across. <coughs> um, the one I have at the back here though I will make removable so that you can quickly and easily take it off if you need to launch and that should all be good. Kayaks, canoes, rooftop tent, uh, aluminium fishing dinghy, anything can then be mounted up on top for your weekends away. Or just wrap a tarp over it and then it becomes a weatherproof covering for your watercraft. So, as you can see, the frames are now in place, and they obviously go sloping downwards, so if you do have a tarp on, the water runs and drops off at the back, um, but if, uh, if you are looking at putting like camper rooftop tents on there or anything like that, uh, you can simply wind down the jockey wheel to drop the trailer down to make that uh, top section all level. So uh, that shows you around about what the finished product's going to look like. I might just um, straighten that, straighten up uh, these bends a little bit more. That's uh, hopefully a bit better light of um, how it's going to turn out. Another little trick for um, the looms for trailers. That's actually a hook off of a hanging basket uh, zip tied on there. This is on the removable extendable drawbar. And these are clips, I've drilled a hole just to put the clip through, that is a trampoline mat um, D-ring and then that's just off of kids backpacks so that it um, can click in and hold the trailer loom in place. So that's just another trick, bit of a hack of how to make those particular things so that everything can clip in and hold in wherever you want on in particular on removable trailer boards so you can just clip and link the loom into wherever you want drill holes link it in there's all different ways to uh, clip things